What's up, y'all? This is I'm Ron the Barber. Um, just figured I'd make a little small video on some of my vintage, my vintage collection. Okay, uh, what I have, and I like vintage because a lot of a lot more work and better craftsmanship went into these clippers back then, and they cut better to me. Um, some of them I don't use because I don't want to wear the cords out, and the cords are not easy to replace. But um, real quick, I'll get into it. Uh, this is an Andis Master. Uh, pretty good condition. It's a detachable cord, one of the detachable styles that they used to carry. Very good clipper. Um, you know, it's, it's not real old, but it's old enough, maybe early 90s, because um, it has the five notches on the side. Very good clipper. I cut with it for a little bit. Uh, and then that style blade, that one that says set any cut, for some reason that cuts a lot better, man. But that's your Andes Master. Um, next I have uh, Chief. And this Chief, I like this clipper too. Um, came out back around World War One, World War Two, something like that. Uh, once again, it has a See, it has a different cord that goes to it, but still detachable cord. Uh, you can see the pattern on there. Uh, I like that blade. That blade was cool. That came standard on them. Um, this one has two speed. I had another one that just had one speed, but this one has a high and a low speed. Uh, I think that was because of voltage differences in various places. So the voltage was not always the same. So they put another uh, high and low switch on it. Real cool clipper though, you know. I cut with it for a while. I just retired it because I got tired of using all my vintage stuff, man. But every now and again, I pull it out. Next up is another rare clipper. This is your uh, Andis uh, detachable. Okay, it's Andis detachable. Looks like the chief and the master shiny, but look, it's detachable. Okay, no modifications, nothing like that. It came detachable. It also came with a detachable cord, similar to the Chief. So the Chief cord and this cord can fit the same. That's model JN. And it's very rare. And it also, the clips are hard to find, the replacement blades. So I was just fortunate enough to find the detachable one eighth, uh, the one, the three out, and I got an extra one eighth. So. I very rarely use that. I might have plugged them in one time to see if they worked, and they did. I just ain't really want to cut no hair with them. What's well, another good clipper? Uh, this one, this is what I wish Andis would go back to, is the Styliner, the original Styliner. You see, it just says Styliner on it. They got some don't say nothing on them. Those are real old, but this is the original Styliner. The way you can tell is by, not just by uh, its sand Styliner, but it also has, it doesn't have the three screws on the back. It takes the two screws, like your, your uh, T-Outliner. Uh, that's not the original blade. The original blade was, um, got some funny looking teeth on it. I, I guess I could, nah, I ain't gonna run over there and get it. But I put a deep tooth blade on it. These mother cut great. That's a great clipper. Um, I forgot to put my other ones up there, but. Uh, these are my other style lighters. And then these are Oster Fast Fees. These are rare because Oster now goes nine volts, nine watts. So you want if you want to get the vintage game up, you want to get your vintage game up. I don't know if I can get that thing to focus. Focus, focus, focus. You want the 12 watts. See, that say 12 watts. That's what you want. They don't make 12 watts anymore. Okay, it's nine. And if you, these are the real old ones because you see the, the plate's different, okay? And I just modified it a little bit, put the ceramic on it. I don't cut with these like I used to. Cause they, and they're the black ones too. They came originally black. I had maroon. I sold the maroon ones. I kept the black ones. Uh, very rare. Uh, they changed it because it's cheaper to make. See, the insides have brass fittings on the inside. These screws, the fittings that they go into are brass. So. It was better craftsmanship, better quality back then. So now they're a little cheaper. Although the fast fees now cut good, they don't cut good as these 12 watts, guarantee you. 
So right now, that's pretty much the bulk. I do have an old pair of uh, super tapers in my shop. I just didn't pull them out because I just didn't feel like it. But this is what I got, man. You know, the only thing I don't have that I once had was the Speedmaster. And that's a very sought after clipper. But I got some rare stuff, so just letting y'all know, hey, I love the barbering. I love the history of barbering. So this is history right here. What you see in is history. All right. Take pride in your stuff, man. I ain't saying everybody got to be a collector like me. But this is good work, man. Good craftsmanship. All right, I'm Rod the Barber, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Subscribe to my channel, man. I know I'm just starting with these videos, but subscribe. Show me some love. I show love back. All right, shout out to everybody out there, the barber world. Peace.